All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel here. So I just wanted to give you an update on a little issue I was having here with my 2016 F-150. Um, it's just an XLT. Um, so you can see here I have a door blend actuator is what they call it. Um, and that, looking at your center console here, is what controls your directional vent um, controls here when you select different vent con um, options, if you will. That's what controls that. So... I guess the issue that I was having was, um, you know, it's a 2016, so things are at the at the point here now with this this model or uh, age of truck, I should say, that you start having some electrical or actuator type motor drive issues or whatever. So, of course, this one decided to act up on me. So this is the OEM Ford uh, door blend actuator, um, and again, the issue that I was seeing here was it was stuck on. The direction of the uh, dash vent so the ones that blow right at you and i think the floor once was stuck as well what i was trying to do is get defrost and this has been going on for a couple weeks now and so i could never get defrost to work you might experience a slightly different issue um my the, the the blower power was still working so i knew it wasn't that as well as my temperature was working as well so i could change between hot and cold and in between um however the directional was for sure the issue and so looking up on some forums like the f-150 forums guys are talking about the blend door actuator so it's a fairly cheap part um cheap enough to figure to try it if it didn't solve the problem you know it won't be that much money out i think the you can see here i got the murray this is the da1197 you know it was like 25 26 bucks at your local harbor or parts store uh the oem motorcraft one I think was like three bucks more so 28 bucks or something so it wasn't much more i just opted for the murray because it was it's a decent brand name i should say um but it was also available same day pickup so i don't have to wait for it um and i wanted to try and get it done as soon as possible so um your local harbor store or parts store sorry you see the da1197 um so that's for the single climate control um talking with the hard or the the parts store folks they said they might be different for the dual climate control i'm not sure about that so you have to check with them if you do have like a lariat or platinum or king ranch that might have um dual climate control it might be a slightly different part number that i'm not sure so double check on that um but however like i said so noticing the issue here with the selection between your vent directions um and so that's kind of what prompted me to look into this cheap part um and sure enough that's what it was so I wanted to walk you through um, kind of what was going on here or the replacement I should say itself so um, the replacement is pretty straightforward it's just two uh, bolt holes here so you can see it's two screws when you get under um, your steering wheel it's actually under the panel here so it's pretty simple you don't have to take anything off or panels off I should say to get to it but it's um, you know it's positioned like this when you're looking at it so there is a torque screw here, and then there's a torque screw here. Um, and I'm showing you here because it's a tight corner up there. It's very tough to see. Um, I'll show you in a minute, but um, you're kind of working with a blind approach here, unless you, you kind of finagle your way in a certain way with a light perfectly that you can get to it. So that's why I'm demonstrating here kind of the instructions of, of how to replace it. But it's basically a Torx. Um, you can see I just got a regular 3 ace ratchet with the T20 Torx drive. Um, yeah, again two screws here and then here there's one up here but this is just a maybe it's meant for a more universal application but this one is not used on the f-150s that i know of so i just had the two torque screws there um and then there's a little keyway here or slot i should say and that helps position it um when you put it in there so and then obviously you got your pin connector here which is what provides the power um and the communication to position this rotary i believe it's a stepper motor maybe a servo i'm not sure but that's what powers that. So and you can see it's actually got an index here for position. Um, and so that's one thing to keep in mind here. Um, let me show you here real quick and then we'll come back up to this. So I'll show you where it's at. Got my light here. Um, but if you get under your panel here, so you can see it's got my center console here. And then there it's sitting right there. So you just got to unplug that connector clip and then you can see the one screw um the first piece on the lower one and then there's one you can see it's really tough to see but it's right above that little um semi there 
So pretty simple to get to. Um, but yeah, there it is. So you can see it's tough to get up there, but that's what you got to replace. Um, so now the next piece here, I know some people may have mentioned this, some people may have not, but what I noticed is um, when you plug this in, so you're, say you got the old one out um, and you're replacing the new one, first thing you wanna do is plug this in, that's what I was doing, but right away this thing will start spinning. So I think it's either looking for a certain position, um, whether you have the truck turned on or off is what I noticed. So as long as you just had it plugged in, it was spinning. So it was trying to look for, I believe an index like home sensor maybe or a position not quite sure um but then i noticed too when i turned it on so if i turn it on then it started spinning again so you can see power up here so i got the blower going um so yeah it was rotating and then it almost seemed like it was looking for an index like i said so whether that was home or a certain position basically all this is doing is moving your vent directions there's a a gear system up there mechanism that's um, giving you your blend or your you know your separate uh, defrost straight vent or, or the floor vent here so it's, it's kind of deciphering between or differentiating those options and then blending them if you have that particular um, button selected I should say so anyways I guess the whole point of that kind of long-winded but make sure like I said when you plug it in when it's powered off it's going to start spinning. I think it's searching for this zero maybe index. Um, but then also when you turn it, your um, your accessory on. So don't start the truck, but turn your accessory on so you get your blower and your radio and stuff going. Um, that's where I had to start playing around with, you know, which dial here. You don't have to do this, but what it does is you can see here this keyway like I mentioned. So I'll picture it here. This is what it looks like as if you were putting it in um, actually back in the truck. So what I was doing is before I fastened the new one, I just clipped it in, like I said, but then I started playing around, you know, with the different button modules here. Um, it'll take a little while, but it'll rotate and it'll give you a position. Um, you can see this keyway was my index. So looking at this, you can see there's that piece there with one missing spur. I was trying to match that, the new one to this you know, just free, freestanding right below here by my gas pedals where it was hanging. And so I just pushed these around until I got to that position. Um, you probably don't have to do that, but what you'll have to do if you don't do this to try and figure out or match old to new, I should say, is you'll have to sit here and rotate this and try and get it to the sweet spot. So to get it to actually push into the gear mechanism. So highly recommend doing that. Um, otherwise you gotta twist it, um, like I said to actually get it to seat in there and then fasten it. So it's tough enough to get it fastened alone when you're putting it back in. So um, I recommend you do that. So just play around um, toggling between the various combinations here. In my case, what I had left it at before, um, and it kind of actually makes sense because the it was failing this way because it was blowing, you know, with the, the dash air constantly. So I could never get defrost to work. I believe I could turn this off, I can't kite can't quite remember um, but this is what my last default direction was so just keep that in mind um, to, to toggle here but and figure out which one or which position you're at and that'll help you um, when you're fastening this so anyways I hope that helps um, gives you a little direction on making this a little bit easier because it's a pain to get under there you kind of gotta finagle yourself in a strategic way to get to get under there and actually see let alone um, loosen these screws but once you get that figured out it's pretty straightforward so um, anyways I hope that helps guys thanks for watching